So this individual who has been selected by you is now our instrument in order to end self-perpetuating rule and impunity in this country. That person will make a promise to serve only three years and that cabinet will be dissolved and we will go back to elections where there will be second round of voting and all the parties will seek the mandate of the people. This is the agreement. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah ta'ala wa barakatuh Gambians and Gambians the whole wide world mong lena gerem di lena senta kubari ngom nyom na safu tu nihis salu mbari ngom mbal bay kontana mbal tentula mbal jayla bake mbal fulale ko asmo domi sereri poli mong lena gerem di gerem everybody the rest of the entire country kusi neka mong lena gerem sa prasa senta di lena ne rek juma mubarak to all of you and may Allah continue to guide us all on the part of righteousness and not the part of those who have gone astray I mean, uh, once again, I just want to remind you all that three years Jannah, we are determined to liberate not only our executive members currently incarcerated in Maltu based on false charges, we are determined to ensure that the Gambia will be liberated as a country once again. We want to share this information with all of you so that every family member will take all the necessary precautions to ensure that their little ones, their loved ones, will remain at home and stay out of harm's way. It is important that we share this information because we all now know that the man who once claimed to be a Democrat is nothing but a brute. He is a snake under the green grass. Therefore, we ain't taking no chances. So we want to make sure that the future generations will be protected and that their lives will be preserved. For this fight is for the betterment of the Gambia. And today, it is our responsibility to stand up to anybody who want to suppress the Gambian people. Our grandfathers never accepted that. They fought to attain independence from any form of domination. And thanks to their selflessness and sacrifices, one like Francis Edward Small had to even flee the country. Now, Gambia, this history cannot be buried by an idiotic fool like Adam Mubarak. And clearly we all do know that this man is determined to do what it will take in order to bury every good living or dead uh, or past uh, 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 heroes of our country. Adam Mubarak can call himself a president thanks to the sacrifices, the selfless sacrifices of our grandfathers who fought and attained independence on the 18th January. As we all do know, the Queen stood before uh, the Parliament and declared any war and declared the Gambia as an independent sovereign country. Therefore, Adam Obaro, for your information, on the 18th January, Gambians will be out in their numbers to make sure that you do what you promised and that you will liberate all those people who have been falsely incarcerated based on lies and deception. Adam Obaro, it is a shame for every decent Gambian, every patriotic citizen to be sitting out here watching, seeing the manner in which you are maltreating the Gambian people so as to what? You should pay power. <clears throat> But you even forgot that you came on a backdrop of eight different parties of which you own none but represented the United Democratic Party. Adam Obaro, you forgot all about that. You are now hell-bent on doing what it will take for you to usurpate power just to end up what? Crushing. 
just to end up crashing. I don't know, bro, there is no way under the sun that you can continue beyond your mandate. And if you think that using force, distracting people, trying to intimidate the Gambia people is going to work, it's not going to work, bro. And we have a point to prove to you. So we are warning and advising, by the way, every family member, if you have a child who is going to school, please, on the 18th of January, let them all stay away from harm's way. Adam Bro is a brute, and we are determined to take him on. We will ensure that our country will be liberated from the hands of these foolish men who think that they can turn around and spend millions, bribe our security officers to act unruly and terrorize the population. For your information, Adam Barrow, we are fully aware that you spend nothing less than 45 million, 45 million, in order to, to suppress the Gambian people, to use our security personnel, to suppress the Gambians. <laughs> Good. We are delighted to get this uh, uh, crucial information and it will be investigated. Surely, when that day come, Baro, you will regret why you will spend 45 million just so you can ambush the Gambian people and brutalize them, charge them. I was say, Saho, how much did he give you? How much did Dusano and others give you for you to act in the manner you acted? We know he gave the Paras 15 million. But the entire security apparatus involved, they took nothing less than 45 million. And 15 belongs to the Paras. Excellent. We would find out. We would get to the bottom of this. Because every transaction that is done, be it, hey, it will come to light someday, Gambia. But what I would say to every mother out there, not one like our sister Saho, she is definitely corrupted. Okay? Because I don't believe that there is any other important meeting that you should be conducting when you are indeed the presiding judge of a case like this of such magnitude. So that case is second Wow, bribed, corrupted. I can't believe this. I thought it was just like rumors, but I'm now convinced beyond doubt that hey. Something is not right here. Because she's a mother. She's a judge. How can a state charge people whom they have given a permit to protest with treason? Yet they have no sticks, no stones, no guns, no nothing. And yet it is evident that the state brutalized them. It is evident that the authorities acted in a manner that they can never justify in any court of law. Oh, it proves that there was indeed a conspiracy between hatched between the security sector, a apparatus of our country. The SIS boss was involved, the IGP was involved, the Minister of Defense was involved, the Minister of Interior was involved. Uh, they were all conspiring and they did and executed it and we have the evidence. So no wonder why they can only drag their feet Adam of Barrow but for your information. Once again, Gambians will liberate themselves. And Baro, you will face justice. Insha'Allah, Rabbi, you will face justice. Nala lere Adamo Baro. Nko mole tige nyin dunia kono fana mimbe te safe la na lungo na kanang. Anu insha'Allah, Rabbi Baro, ite, iba lo na leko, yara fandum, ninga lo no. Man saya man na kafu ika hadama dungo le tilimbal yade. No, 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 no. Nyowe wud ne holal, lula nech def. Lulu ifen la, lulu Afrika regla am. Baro, you think that you can go on to use our judicial system to wrongfully punish people and prolong our suffering as a country? 
so that you can distract the overwhelming majority, the, you know, the, the, the demands of the legitimate demands of the Gambian people, right? Is it what you think you're going to achieve? Well, we're going to prove a point to you now. This protest will now continue at the Bobaro. I may continue from the 18th of February, yes, unless proven otherwise. But let me tell you, we had a meeting, and of course, we all agreed that it is time for us to prove a point. Dunya bele bel siring ka jibe. For ete amira ilan yung baro be wo is benefiting you. How is that benefiting you? You are exposing yourself to be nothing but just a brute and a dictator, a selfish one for that matter, a traitor of the highest order, baro. So you are the one to be charged with treason by the Gambian people. Because that day is going to come. You will bloody dance to your tune by the grace of the Almighty. Why? Adam Obaro, we know exactly the corrupt activities that you are involved in. You are facilitating international crime. And you are yourself a criminal with a proven track record. Okay? So that day is, you, you know what, EU even declassified some information that you were given, 40 million euros to empower the youths of the Gambia, to make sure that the, the returnees will in fact be integrated and that they will be offered opportunities to, to, to make it in, within the country. I don't know, how much factories could you have built? How much could you have done with that money for the youths, to elevate the youths? Oh, but you know what? You would rather starve the Gambian people, make sure there is no uh, medi medicine in our hospitals so that people will die like flies and people will be starving. They will be hungry so that they can turn around and run to you and say, oh, Baro, please help us. Yeah, I join your party because I'm about to die. I need some money. So those who are with you are the ones who are going to enjoy. Those who are against you, oh, guess what? You all need to die. Isn't it? You have proven that, Adam Obaro, because you used tear gases. Right? Stones and even live rounds to suppress the people. You spent 45 million to suppress Gambian people so you can usurpate power. Adam Obaro, for your information, uh, we are coming and we ain't gonna relent until, Baro, you know that you started a fight that which you cannot handle. To the security personnel, we are fully aware that you all compromised your principles, you all compromised your oath of office to protect the Gambian people. Echo us. We are coming again, and this time around, we're not going to engage Adam Obaro. You know why? He is a devil in disguise. He is a devil, a heartless human being who we do not need in our state house. His mandate had expired since on the 18th of January. He chose to use force, right, to suppress the people and continue governing the affairs of our country without the mandate of the overwhelming majority. You all know the deal. Oh, we were given permit thanks to your interventions, right? You were entangled. The government came and agreed to give us a permit if we also agree to reschedule our date from on the 19th to on the 26th. Little did we knew that it was all a premeditated act with intent to violate the rights of the Gambian people by the very government that was pretending before us all that they are indeed a democratic government and that they are, oh, look at us, we are engaging them. In fact, we want to have a dialogue. Yeah, we're going to even give them a permit, but they have to reschedule their date. Oh, it was because your supplies were not there. So the arrival date, it missed the deadline, right? So it arrived, it will be arriving in the Gambia, not on the 19th, but probably on the 20, 22, 22nd, 3rd, 4th. Right? That's why you guys say, no, 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 26 will be perfect. Let's give them that so we can boost them. Because at that time, we would have already been properly geared up and ready for them. Excellent. 
We now know. We now know. Oh, and also the youths will be hired to bring tires and bring stones and attack the people and set the country ablaze, smoke the nation, so we can accuse them of committing treason. I don't know, bro. You think the war? You think you are smart? You think everyone else is a fool? You and your stupid fools, those 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 lunatics, unlettered people that you gathered around, will be able to fool the entire world and pull the wool over our eyes? Oh hell no, bro! You fooling yourself. Trust me. And there will come a day when this Dusano, this Jata, this Lamin Ardabo, and all of you will regret. Because none of you will be able to justify what you've done. No, 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 no. None of you can do that. There is no lawyer in this world who can defend that which is falsehood and get away with it. Especially what you all have done. This is crime against humanity. Adam O'Barrow. It's nothing less than that. And you will face justice. Let that be clear. You're going to face justice and every victim will be compensated. Adam O'Barrow. Insha'Allah Rabbi. Okay? So you started a fight, you can never finish, bro. And if it is the power or the seat of power that you are uh, struggling to cling on, oh, bro, you're going to lose that. You've lost it already because your credibility is in tatters. Gambians, again, we have a collective responsibility and that is to liberate the Gambia, to rescue our country. Yesterday it was a struggle for many. We overcome whatever was the obstacles holding us down. Again, why should we settle for less than what we deserve? We all now know that the devil you know is far more better than the supposed angel. Who have all the signs of becoming the worst of all devils. Didn't I told you that? I said it repeatedly. No, it wasn't out of hatred. It was based on divine guidance for Allah knows best. Gambians, you all be a witness that I've told you all about this man, and I said to all of you that he will become the thorn in our flesh. Why? He will and so that Gambians will suffer. Did I tell you that, you know, he is someone who would make sure that the people will suffer so he can get people to join him, him on his deceptive path that will lead us all to hell. The part of self-destruction. Didn't he do it? Yes. For three good years, this man has been going around lying to the whole world. They gave him so much money. In our name, where is it? Soon hospital nothing is there. Why? Because Damalen ne ki dafa ne ko ki nga xamne xolam bi dara nekku fa ku bon la. Dafa sadik. Adamu bro dafa sadik. Xam nga nga mëna tok nga gis doomi adama yi nga xamne dañ jokk. They just came purposely to remind you that sir, oh you told us this this that and the other. Uh we want you to keep your promises and fulfill them. Because that is your legacy. Your integrity is in question here. If you are to renege on that it will be the biggest disappointment that the Gambia have ever experienced since attaining her independence. Why? Because you came, you guys came with a plan. A plan that was so mesmerizing, it in fact captivated the minds of many electorates. Now, was it real or was it just you guys playing tricks with us? Well, it is a felony to lie. But Adam Barrow is saying to the Gambians that no, it is perfect to lie. In fact, when you are campaigning, you can lie for all you like, all you want. Just get what you want. It comes down to that. Oh, lie to the people and get their votes. No, it doesn't work that way, bro. I don't know, bro. It doesn't work that way. Democracy comes with scrutiny. Please, for heaven's sake, release our people. What have they done? To remind you it's a crime? It's a treasonable offense? To remind you of your own lies? It's a treasonable offense today. Oh, bro, you will be charged with treason by the Gambian people as well. Inshallah. Rabbi. That is a day coming very soon. You will be charged with treason and borrow. Hey, no one will even look at you again. 
you will be shocked. The manner in which you're going to be falling from grace. You think Senegal is going to be your hiding place? you mad. Where? England? America? Wherever you go, Adam O'Barro, the Gambians will get you. We will bring you back to the Gambia. You will face justice and take you to the head. You will, you will be scrutinized beyond your wildest imagination. Adam O'Barro, because you committed economic crimes. Not only that, you killed people by negligence as a leader. You deliberately suffocated the Gambian people in the last three years of your foolish shattered coalition government. Oh, Adam O'Barro, you played so many tricks. Playing the victim card is never going to work. We now know that it was all that of your making because you had an intention to usurpate power in spite of the fact that you lied to everybody. That, oh, I'm just here. I'm not a politician. I know nothing about governance. In fact, I'm just here to just serve as a transitional leader. And all of a sudden, bro, you surrounded yourself with these square pegs with intent and these brutes with intent to use what? Money. And buy your way. Forcefully. In the eyes of the world. Before the entire world. Oh, and a comic echoes and you all said nothing, right? Well, the Gambians are coming out on the 18th. On the 18th, we ain't even gonna demand for permit anymore because it is guaranteed under our constitution. <clears throat> Likewise, the international law of which Gambia is a signatory. The Human Rights Declaration, December, yes, 1998, yes, we are a signatory to that convention as well. Therefore, not only that, but Section 25, Subsection D of the Gambian Constitution gave us every right to conduct a peaceful assembly and we will exercise that provision and that section will be upheld by and force whether Baro likes it or not we will come out without necessarily using our PA system because the reason why you would want to inform the IGP is based on the fact that you're going to be playing music on our streets people are going to be singing dancing and doing all what not therefore of course we need the authorities to provide us with security and also whatever disturbances that we may be making on that day will all be in accordance with the Public Order Act. That is the only reason to use the PA system. But it's not even like something that supersedes the constitution of the Gambia is nonsense. That is why I once argued that the Public Order Act is directly conflicting with this with section 6 uh, 25 of the gambia uh, subsection d of the constitution of the gambia therefore it should be declared null and void why because this constitution supersedes all that which they are saying that the igp have in his powers that's nonsense and no police officer who is far more superior than the nation that they are serving than the citizens that they are serving it's a lie so Adam Obaro, we are coming. We are coming. So what I would say to the Gambian people, if you have a child going to school, please let, let him or her stay at home. We don't want our children going out there marching for this fool. No, we don't want that. And we don't want them to be on harm's way on that day. Because Operation Three Years Journal are going to come out. I know Obaro, and this is nationwide. National Day of Outrage. Okay? So, Adam Obaro will probably use violence as he knows best because it's the only way that he's now been told, oh yeah, bro, you know, you have to be a dictator. Hey, that's the only way you can control Gambians. Nonsense. We are beyond control. No one is going to suppress us ever again. Okay? And what we are saying is this. If you have a child going to school, Adam Obaro is going to be expecting that, oh, this child is going to come and dance and march for me. Nonsense. We are saying to everybody, let's boycott uh, 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 the Independence Day. Okay? But three years, Jadna, we are coming out. No, we're not going to go anywhere near Adam Obaro. Let that be clear. <laughs> So, I have to say that 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 I 
Bafola Mamari Oli Kanata School, Bafola Na Cousin Soli Kanata School. I will tell everybody that do not go anywhere near Adam Baro. I'll come and cut Katu mole mi anko fit na mole, anu asal sacrifice nole. We all know that, right? Alat tak yellow le bong, anu na beri yellow bong. I entol la dingol preserve. Katu mole sama alfalt. Bara itu bebe terlaja ne iba tari ko fana safel ne. Bara entol ni arma baro be janjun na nyamik. Ko dunia le fana ubeo tari ko safel. Insya Allah Rabbi. So umbal dani la muna wole ko Independence Day. Unka nak kata arma baro la, unka nak kata la. So alat dingol muda. And keep them away from harm's way. Bal dandala la wole la. Anu bal tentu la, bal jay la. Bafola adam o baro ye ko. A, danga la lo hamne na goro lo ko la. Te adam o baro, su la nehe. Nga indi Senegal hai. Indi eko was yep, nyo nyo tahaw. Why Independence Day? Nyo nyo yo la. From that day la wade. Be de boy wacha adam o baro. From that day, until the day you gonna get down. Baro, you will never have love from Gambian people. Yo lagi di nang lawan ni, deka bumbu nyokom mo, tayo sudah security inga gom nyu, sun family lain, sun family lain. Te 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 nyu sun pare, sun juga bedor di campaign against them. Yen mi dengan talk, yen banyak sol uniform sah niti hamelan. Paral military, I am telling you guys, kal ah kono le yatol dunyun nyukono. So baru yatol bribe le ayal sang, pur aleta ale nyapi gambian orang. Everybody involved. So it's money is the motivation of your actions, right? Money. 45 million. Good to know. Get ready, right? All of you. You all get ready because three years just now we are ready. Now none of you will ever take us by surprise anymore. Alright? Because you guys are not patriotic citizens. If at all not any one of you or your bosses are. No, surely they would not be giving you unlawful orders to suppress the Gambian people and then lie and cook up all this nonsense against innocent people just so you can incarcerate them and use our judicial system to prolong the suffering of the Gambian people. Enough is enough, right? Our backs are against the wall and we are ready to, in fact, react in the manner that we know best, peacefully. Peacefully. And Adam Obaro, we would show you that the overwhelming majority are out and they will be out. And Adam Obaro, we will all be demanding for you to respect your own words, respect yourself, respect our fundamental rights as Gambians and release our brothers. How about that? Adam Obaro, you will find out that Gambians are equally determined. I don't know what to do with 25 people. I don't see like a Gambian or suppress at all. I don't know if you can do it. This is a criminal government. Aiding and abetting criminality, state sponsored terrorism. But I'm coming for you. Just continue keeping quiet, right? You will answer to questions as well when that day come by the grace of the Almighty. On that note, I would say to all of you, Juma Mubarak, uh, may Allah continue to guide us all on the part of righteousness and not of the part of those who earned his anger. Amin ya Rabbi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace.